How do you get micronutrients in balance when levels of each micro vary across a field? We'll discuss that challenge in today's Iron Talk. First of all, to feed each year's crop, we have consistently used a micronutrient blend like Micro 1000 with our planter. To fix individual shortages going forward, though, here's the strategy we found to give us the most success. Grid sample your fields, and then, number one, apply a blend that gets most or all nutrient levels above the minimums without pushing any one nutrient above the maximum. Use variable rate technology as that particular rate may vary. Then, number two, you can follow by variable rate applying individual micros with dry products where a significant cost savings could be gained. Or, number three, you could variable rate with liquid products where immediate availability or minute rates are needed. Using a liquid solution allows you to apply super low rates by mixing it with 10 gallons of water to get a great spread. With the dry products, it may take 12 or 24 months for all of that fertilizer to come available and start showing up on your soil tests. So think of this as a three-year plan before you start judging the results. When it comes to micros, feeding the soil and getting things in proper balance is shown to be the best strategy as micros will be there not just for this crop, but for many crops to come. Again, it all starts with a great soil testing program. You can follow up with plant tissue analysis once per week through the growing season to check your results. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.